Hey students, welcome to chemistry classes. In this in this class, we can discuss about the new chapter that is called as the chemical kinetics. That is chemical kinetics. This is a new branch of chemistry. Or it is a branch of chemistry that deals with the study of the rate or velocity of a reaction. rate or velocity of a reaction and the mechanism followed by the reaction it means the it is a branch of chemistry that deals with the rate or velocity of the reaction and the mechanism by which that reaction can be followed then for example consider a reaction that is conversion of diamond to graphite it means for the conversion of diamond to graphite it will take a time time means during the during the calculation of that velocity there is a time it means that how, how much distance it can it, it has followed with respect to time that, that is called as the velocity the same thing will be applied here also it means the rate or velocity of a reaction it means the uh, at which rate the reaction can be followed it is it is called as the chemical kinetics another example that is water liquid can be converted into the water solid it means that is a liquid state of water can be converted into the solid state of water for that we should decrease the temperature or increase the pressure then uh, at, at that time the liquid state of water can be converted into the gaseous state during this there will be a time with respect to that time that we can calculate the rate or velocity of a reaction this is called as the chemical kinetics for a reaction for a general reaction R gives P this is the R means reactant, P means product. For this general reaction, the reactant can be converted into product. To convert this reactant into product, it will take some time T. Sometime that can be taken as a T. It means R means reactant, P means product and T means time. At the time, at the instant, inter at the respect to time, this reactant can be converted into the product. Then, we can calculate the rate or velocity of that reaction by using these two, uh, these two coefficients. It means R means reactant or P means product. Next, whenever the time goes on, at the time initial time, at the T, T1, T2, T3, up to T, T, N it may be tn it means at the different intervals of time it means at the 5 minute for example 5 minute 10 minute 15 minute like that n respective time at different time interval what would be the reactant and what would be the product if this is our question next then it means as the time goes on from t1 t2 t3 up to tn the concentration of that reactant going to decrease and the concentration of that products going to increase andre ile enagutte reactant concentration kadme aagta aagta barutte reactant concentration ivaglu time hang aagta hogutte ing kadme aagta barutte adhe riti product concentration illi increase aagta hogutte this is the theme of our chemical this is a theme of our reaction chemical reaction it means then by using these terms we can we can write the rate or velocity of the reaction rate or velocity consider consider concentration of r1 
is the this is the concentration of reactant at time t1 next concentration of p1 this is the concentration of product at t1 next concentration of r2 this is concentration of reactant at t2 next this is concentration of product at t2 at the time interval t2 and at t1 these are the reactant and product concentrations and next by using these terms we can write the rate or velocity of a reaction for this general reaction rate or velocity is equal to rate or velocity is equal to decrease uh, it means final concentration minus initial concentration divided by final time minus initial time that can be indicated by the symbol change in the concentration of r divided by change in the concentration of change in the time sorry or in other words rate or velocity is equal to change in the concentration of p2 minus change in the concentration of p1 divided by t2 minus t1 that can be written by the symbol delta concentration of p divided by delta t here we have written the positive sign here we have written the negative sign that positive sign indicate the increase in the concentration positive sign indicate the increase in the concentration and negative sign indicate the decrease in the concentration it means by this by this we can define the rate or velocity of a reaction this is it is a it is an increase in the rate or velocity of a of any one product or it is an increase in the rate or velocity of any one product or it is an it is a decrease in the rate or velocity of reactant at any interval of time it means it is a it is an increase in the rate or velocity of any one product a product of a reaction at any interval of time or it is a decrease in the rate or velocity of a reactant of a uh, reactant at any interval of time it is, this it is itself is called as the rate or velocity of a reaction
it means it is an increase in the rate or increase in the rate of velocity of any one product or it is a it is decrease in the rate or velocity of any one reactant at any interval of time and the yeah the year do interval of time only now in a reactant concentration of kadami agbeku product concentration no hg agbeku adana ratio to one agnam gain sikte that is rate or velocity of a reaction that is minus delta r divided by delta t or plus delta p divided by delta t this is the rate equation this is called as the average or uh, this is called as the rate of a reaction or average rate of a reaction and next one is the instantaneous reaction instantaneous rate of a reaction and, and next concept is the instantaneous rate of a reaction for a reaction for a reaction r gives p same reaction ಈ ಒಂದು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಗೆ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ತಗೊಂತೀವಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಎನಿ instant of time is called as instantaneous rate of velocity of a reaction ಆಟ್ ಎನಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇದು ಎವರೇಜ್ ರೇಟ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಇದು ಯಾವುದೇ ಎನಿ ಇಂಟರ್ವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮು ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ರೇಟ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಟ್ ಎನಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎವರೇಜ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ದಿ ಟೂ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎವರೇಜ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ instantaneous rate of reaction next hagadre idanna yav rithi nav calculation madbeku annodu graphically nortta hogana hagadre first idanna graph nortta martta hogana first this is graphical term it means in the x axis this is a y axis hagadre x axis alli nav idanna ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಈಗ ನಾವೀಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ನು ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಇವಾಗ ವಾಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುವಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುವಲಿ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ if we take the concentration of product x this is the y axis time concentration p right if the concentration of reactant going to decrease decrease means that uh, if the concentration of going to decrease then the concentration of product going to increase right this is a concentration of reactant this is concentration of product next 
in the in this reaction this is uh, these two graphs for the same reaction in this reaction we can define the different terms it is at the initial concentration next this is the initial concentration of product this initial concentration of reactant then i will decrease that because you increase that because it means this is the initial concentration of product this is the initial concentration of reactant then we can see what will happen here concentration of r1 next concentration r2 next we can join this at the time t1 r1 at the t1 next at the time t2 next there is a average rate final concentration minus initial concentration divided by t2 minus t1 is equal to delta t divided by delta r divided by delta t for the concentration of reactant next for the concentration of product we can see this is the initial concentration from here we have to go that is p1 p2 next we can join the terms here can join the terms here next this is p1 t1 p2 t2 next that is the key now the rate average here concentration of p2 minus concentration of p1 divided by t2 minus t1 here plus that is increase in the concentration of product divided by delta t here negative sign indicates the negative uh, decrease in the concentration of reactant here positive sign indicates the increase in the concentration of product this is for the average rate of a reaction next for the instantaneous rate of reaction consider this point this this point this point itself is called as the time t time t means this is the concentration of r the concentration of r on the consider what next at the time t next you are going to at this point we can draw a tangent to the curve in this tangent we can draw a slope you know slope on the ile e slope here next we can draw a slope here for this tangent we can draw a slope here next here for then we can calculate the instantaneous rate here what would be the rate minus change in the concentration of r with respect to time t d t itself is the negative of slope and really another the negative slope not to control them against the minus t d of r divided by t value secret other it for this term we can in this time at this time interval this can be taken as a time t next at this point we can draw a tangent at this point we can draw a tangent next for this tangent we can calculate we can draw a slope for this tangent we can draw a slope then calculate the 
स्लोप वैल्यू और दैट इज इंस्टेंटेनियस रेट ऑफ ए रिएक्शन दैट इज टी ऑफ पी डिवाइडेड बाय डी टी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू द पॉजिटिव स्लोप इन हियर पॉजिटिव स्लोप हियर नेगेटिव स्लोप ये स्लोप ना तो हम गेन से गुते इल्ले ये इंस्टेंटेनियस रेट ऑफ ए रिएक्शन से गुते देन दिस इज द एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन दिस इज इंस्टेंटेनियस रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट इज द स्लोप ऑफ ए टेंजेंट बाय डेफिनेशन वी कैन राइट इट एज द स्लोप ऑफ ए tangent drawn slope of a tangent drawn to the curve at any instantaneous time against concentration gives instantaneous rate at rate at that instant of ए रिएक्शन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द इंस्टेंटेनियस रेट ऑफ ए रिएक्शन नेक्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ रिएक्शन यूनिट ऑफ रिएक्शन वी नो दैट द रेट ऑफ ए रिएक्शन कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड एज change in the concentration change in the concentration per unit time really no idu name martivi rate of reaction na change in the concentration concentration change with respect to time anta na will barithivi hagadare idanna if the reaction rate if the concentration of reactant concentration of reactant can be expressed in the terms of molar concentration if the concentration of the reactant can be expressed in terms of molar concentration and time in seconds then rate of reaction is moles per second that is moles second this itself is the rate of velocity of a reaction then for example then we can calculate the calculation of average rate of a reaction calculation of average rate of a reaction illi now yen madbeku anodu next एवरेज रेट ना यहाँ रीति ना वो कैलकुलेशन मार रहे को द एवरेज रेट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड द एवरेज रेट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड बाय डिवाइडिंग
by dividing the rate of disappearance the rate of disappearance of any of the reactants or the rate of the rate of appearance appearance of product by their respective respective stoichiometric coefficient coefficients can it means the average rate can be expressed by dividing the rate of disappearance yes rate of disappearance in the decrease in the concentration in the sense and of any of the reactant or the rate of appearance it means rate of generation of product by their respect to stoichiometric coefficient that is the most important factor stoichiometric coefficients agar stoichiometric coefficients indre yav rithi ant nodana for example consider a reaction 2r it will gives the p for this reaction stoichiometric coefficient indre number of moles agirabodu athwa yavde yavde ondu reaction factor agirabodu hagadre illi 2 2 annodu number of moles of a reactant product agide डिसअपियन of the reactant or the rate of appearance of product by their respect to stoichiometric coefficient agadre idu naviga divided by madbeku divide by illi na 2 anta ide that is number of moles number of moles that is called as stoichiometric coefficient this number we can divide by this number this is the equation or in another word plus delta p divided by delta t this is the way of writing the rate or average rate of a reaction example for a reaction hg plus cl2 hg cl2 for this reaction rate is equal to decrease in the concentration of hg divided by change in the time or which is equal to decrease in the concentration of cl2 divided by delta t which is equal to increase in the concentration of hg cl2 with respect to delta t next second example to hi it gives the h2 plus i2 for this we can write the rate is equal to plus we can write the 1 by 2 here this is 
this is stoichiometric coefficient we can divide by the respective equation agadrelli minus 1 by 2 into delta concentration of hi divided by delta t which is equal to plus delta concentration of h2 divided by delta t which is equal to plus delta concentration of i2 divided by delta t like this we can write the still more examples next third example n2 plus 3s2 it will give the 2ns3 for this reaction rate is equal to average rate average rate is equal to decrease in the change in the concentration of nitrogen with respect to time change in the time or which is equal to here stoichiometric term is 3 we can have in mode 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 delta concentration of h2 divided by delta t which is equal to here the product here in this product there is a 2 is the stoichiometric term we can write the plus 1 by 2 decrease in the change in the concentration of nh3 divided by with respect to change in time next fourth example 4 nh3 plus 5 O2 4 NO2 plus 6 H2O for this average rate is equal to minus 1 by 4 delta ns3 divided by delta t which is equal to minus 1 by 5 delta o2 divided by delta t which is equal to plus 1 by 4 no2 divided by delta t which is equal to plus delta 1 by 6 h2o divided by delta t like this we can write the exam we can calculate the average rate of a reaction for any reaction average rate of a reaction calculation for this we can consider any one of the reactant or any one of the product other one reactant other one product now consider now average rate of a reaction calculation next this is the rate or velocity of a reaction, average rate of a reaction, another one is the instantaneous rate of a reaction. Next another, uh, next, another concept is the factors affecting rate of chemical reaction factors affecting rate of chemical reaction next concept is 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಏನು ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ನ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಂಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಆಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆಟಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ರೇಟ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆರ್ ದ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದಿ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಗೋ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ದಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ ದಿ ರೇಟ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಆಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಿ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದಿ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಿ ರೇಟ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆಟಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಟಲಿಸ್ಟ್ whether the catalyst used or not used in the reaction we should consider because the catalyst may increase or decrease the rate or velocity of the reaction that is called as the type of and then the, that is called as the effect of catalyst it means the catalyst will affect the rate or velocity of the reaction and next nature of the reactant nature of the reactant means either this may be in the gaseous state or liquid state or this may be a solid state like that we should we should identify we should consider the state of nature of the reactant these are the like these factors that, that will affect the rate or velocity of the reaction this is about the rate or velocity of the reaction